There's no way he turns pale as Ryan Reynolds refuses Duke's begging to fund IG 2025, he'll steal it. Ryan Reynolds refuses to fund Invictus Games 2025 after Harry begs him to embark on a global charity work to create jobs through various business ventures. Ryan Reynolds positively impacted many communities a few months ago. His philanthropic efforts have been closely watched by his home country, Canada, as the country's British Columbia district rounds out the list of recipients of its highest honors. The actors amongst them, just like his huge fan base, expressed deep admiration for his work, especially all he did for the people of Canada and his beloved homeland. Now, after receiving the award, he took to social media to recount his feelings about it all. In addition, he also alluded to this issue. Meghan and Harry have caused enormous damage to the taxpayers of Vancouver Whistler, British Columbia. Yesterday, Reynolds traveled to Vancouver to personally receive the British Columbia Medal of Honor. He later shared some pictures from the event on his Instagram page with a caption dedicated to his government and people. Further, he was so happy to have had the good fortune to be born where he was that he made several personalized trips to the Vancouver Art Gallery using the Slides and Bridges local slide because that position is reserved for British Columbia's most respected civilians. The 47-year-old was touched to be able to choose amongst all that. He further said that he initially thought the award was a political appointment, but it turned out not to be that when he went on to thank his family and country for their contributions to getting him there. Finally, the free device is just to thank you for all the efforts he's put in to achieve this milestone in the field of healthcare initiatives alone. Ryan Reynolds leads fundraising efforts. Cancer efforts, clean water advocacy for native tribes, support for health partners, and more. In addition to all of this, he's also a board member of an organization that helps Parkinson's patients. Additionally, he supported refugees from Ukraine earlier in the year, and his list has just been revealed by a source. During Reynolds' trip to Vancouver, his friend, a fan of the Invictus Games, asked if Reynolds wanted to sponsor this fund because the Invictus Games 2025 will take place in Vancouver and Whistler but Ryan Reynolds said he intends to fund veterans but is concerned about whether the money will actually reach those in need. It seemed to imply that Invictus's money was paid for by the taxpayer, and Meghan and Harry's expenses were all just a burden, according to a recent report. Despite a small investigation sent to the federal government, it was discovered that the Invictus Games ended from September 9 to 1620, costing taxpayers a fortune double digits. 40 million euros funded by the Federal Ministry of Defense Some Canadian veterans think it's time to start another petition at change.org to stop Harry and Meghan from invading the country. It's time to stop the government from paying for useless tools. It comes after it was revealed that the charity CEO and CCO no longer work there, and it was reported that they had been sacked. It's only been a few weeks since Harry's dream and Victus game for disabled veterans ended. An insider has now claimed CEO Peter Lois and Chief Commercial Officer Bill Cooper have been fired. The reason is that Prince Harry and his wife have become a significant nuisance with all their troubles.